The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. On this episode of Life's Little Miracles, Kayla's struggle with cancer and Felicia's hip surgery. Several months ago, two-year-old Kayla Baker was diagnosed with a malignant abdominal tumor. During an earlier attempt to remove the tumor, doctors found it was wrapped around her vital organs, making the surgery too dangerous to complete. After exhausting her chemotherapy options, Kayla's last biopsy indicated the tumor is dead. Today, she will have another biopsy. If the results confirm the tumor is dead, doctors can remove its bulk from around her vital organs. If results are unfavorable, the tumor will be inoperable, and it is unlikely Kayla will survive. Bigger than I thought. <laughs> Tell mommy you'll put the X's in the boxes. What? Do you want the tags? Tags. Tags. Whose name is on that one? Um, Daddy. Is that yeah. Daddy's? Yeah, you're right. You're Unbelievable. Good. How are you? Good. We'll touch base after the biopsy, after she's out of the anesthetic, and then um, mm -hmm. wait for the pathology. The pathology is going to take maybe two weeks. Um, so that'll just limit us when we would go ahead and set up the surgery based on those results. Okay. So will you contact us when you get the results or...? Yes, absolutely. As soon as I, I have them, okay. I, will, I will certainly speak to you. And I'm going to be around, so I'll be gone just the next two days, but, but I'll, I'll be around the entire time. Okay. Is she going to be on a respirator? But for the biopsy? Yeah. yeah. She'll be asleep. Okay. Now, these are going to be big... Uh... These are small. These are just ne deep, deep needle core biopsies. Okay. Okay. So, so just tile off for the pain? Just tile off for the pain and, and hopefully the local lasts for a couple hours afterwards. And a bit of attitude, right? Mm hmm <laughs> She's got that attitude. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Three-year-old Felicia Phillips has been diagnosed with coxavera, a rare deformity of the hip, which causes shortening of the leg. Without treatment, she will develop a limp, which will become more pronounced as she grows. Today, Felicia will undergo surgery to correct the position of her hip. She will then be put in a cast and face six weeks of restricted movement. Come for Barbie. You still hiding? This, this limp started about three months ago? Yeah. Is it? Mm. And before that, she was fine? She was fine before that. And how long did Dr. Wedge say that she'd be in the hospital for? Three to four days. Did she nap during the day? Sometimes, but not regularly. She's full of energy. Oh. One, two, Can you tell me where the plastic and where the cast is? Wait, they're in there. You show me. You pull up this and you show me where the Pink. cast is. Hey, there it is. Uh, uh, it goes all the way around here, all where? the way. You're going to have a pretty cast like that, and I bet you it's going to be pink. pink Do you like one. pink? Do you like pink? No. You don't like pink? <laughs> no. Blue. Do you like blue? Blue is her favorite. Do you want a blue cast? Yeah. Hey, blue um, it is. I will make sure they know. There you go. Does she really not oh, like this? Yeah, she really yeah. doesn't like ultrasounds. Really. Yeah. I can understand that. You guys can come okay, let's with go. us. Okay. 
Alicia has a uh, bend in the bone of her thigh because of a very rare growth abnormality. And this is leading to a deformity that causes her to waddle when she walks. So what we're going to do today is an operation to cut the bone, to change the direction, to restore the normal bow to the thigh bone so that she no longer waddles. And then we're going to put her in a cast after, and she'll be in that cast for approximately six weeks. Did you have your chocolate syrup with the medicine in it? Uh -huh. Take a little bit from your tongue. Take a little bit. It's a love See? Right there. We'll go get a little bit now. Huh? 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 It's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. Very good. Very good. Very good. Well, sir, the key here is the, is the place, the placement of the, uh, the osteotomy and the decision of the wedge of bone. And we've got the right, correct leg. Now let's have the uh, K wire plays loaded up. I'm just going to start with that drug I was talking about that bronchodilates a little bit and okay. helps the lungs out. Just a little bit of laughing gas. Just hold your arm down for me. Good girl. That's working. That's good. Good. Okay, you relax a little bit, buddy. Yeah. So, Mom, can I get you to just give a little kiss on the forehead at this point? And Dad, kiss on the head. Do you got and, her? Yeah, I've got her. Okay. And I'm just going to proceed from here. Right. Lie her down first. And put the IV on full. And you can call the uh, radiologist now. Uh, that's something going on, eh? Mm -hmm. A little more. Slightly more, and you see you slightly internally rotate it as you do it. As you can see, it's all your basic carpentry tools that we use for this kind of job. Do a little more internal rotation. Good, and there you can see it's absolutely perfectly aligned. We're done. We're, we're just about done the operative part, and we'll be starting the uh, cast application in a few moments. One, two, three, four, five cores, Peter. Good one. Eight cores. Five and three, yeah. Okay. Okay. Called pathology. How deep did you go in, like? Right into yeah, the right into it. But we went into an area here that was about three centimeters deep. Uh, well, three centimeters about mm -hmm. that much, and here the same sort of depth. Now, can you tell if it looks malignant mm -hmm. or no? Okay. And parents often ask us that. Yeah. As far as we're aware, the tissue comes out, and we just know did we get a good core. Okay. But by the naked eye, I can't you tell can't you tell. anything, unfortunately. Okay. You just wait here, mm -hmm. and the ladies will bring you in to see her okay. when she's ready. Red pop? 
Okay, I'll get you a red pop, okay? You lay down and snuggle with mom. I'll get you a red one. Okay. It's coming. That's it. You know, I'll hold that. I'll hold this now, Dr. Rich. I'll hold that. You bet. It's one of the few instances in which I use a spike of cast. She'll be in the cast for six weeks. And she's coming back here. Yeah. Okay. Felicia's operation's over. Hi, how are you doing? Everything went very well. Uh, we, we cut the bone across here, just like a break. Mm -hmm. And we put uh, the pins and the wire in. We put it in the correct position. And from what we saw, doing the operation, we could see that this really had to be done because if it hadn't been done, I think her, her walk would have gotten progressively worse and she wouldn't have been able to do most, uh, most normal childhood activities. But she's in a cast now. We put a, a cast on from, from here down to her ankle, down, down one hip. And we just have to keep her off it for the next six weeks until... Keep her off it completely? Yeah, yeah. It'll take her several weeks, but, and she'll limp for several months, but after that, she'll go back to walking normally. And the ladies here uh, will let you know when you can go and see her. Okay. She's still pretty asleep. She has eyes in her eyes. And we'll look around. She's got a full length cast down to her ankle. She can bend, no. like to sit down. That's it, but that's it. And that's it, not this one. But she's gonna want it all. Oh. And then she'll get upset. Hi, <laughs> sweetie. Doing? She's doing good. She's the one who wanted the blue cast. Yes. Felicia, I am the cast lady, and I came to check your cast to make sure it's okay. Okay. We want this foot to be very much like this foot. We want it to be warm and pink and moving. We do not want it to be swollen, purple, blue, or white in the nail beds, okay. ice cold, numb or tingly or burning, and most importantly, we don't want her to have pain when you touch it to check it. We need to roll her on her side so I can check the back. One, two, three. Good girl. Almost done. Almost done, darling. Okay, come on back. Come on back. We're all finished. You're being so brave, aren't you? They say she might go home tomorrow. Very good. I might see you when you come to the clinic to get your cast off. Bye, Felicia. You're doing good, right? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Baker, hey, it's Ted Gersel, how are you? I had called yesterday to want to talk to you and your wife about the pathology report on Kayla. Um, I have pretty good news in that it's not showing any tumor in any of the biopsies seen. Yeah, so I think it's the best we could have hoped for with respect to that. So I think we're going to be able to go ahead for tomorrow. Yep, everything is full steam ahead for tomorrow. Then we'll uh, open up the previous abdominal incision and we'll separate the tumor from the liver and we can safely take the tumor out. We'll take out the, the diaphragm because we know that's certainly very involved and we'll take out the piece of this the pericardium, the sac around the heart that's involved. Then we'll uh, replace the diaphragm and the, and the pericardium with, with, with cortex plastic. Okay, so 12 and hours? I, and that's, the, that's basically the deployment in a nutshell. Yeah, I would think channel. that the... Um, uh, the, it's, it's, I just say all, all day. Okay. And I go over the consent form with you. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Do you want to yeah. read? Make sure. Yeah. 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 Are you uh, authorizing? It just says that Dr. Grissel is going to take out your yucky tumor. Yeah. I'm not going to see you. I'm not walking. Oh, here. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Don't 
Okay, and Felicia's getting her cast off, and then she's going to go get some extra sleep, and then she's going to see the doctor today. So, Felicia, sweetheart, this is going to be very noisy, all right? There's no ouchies, doesn't hurt. So, first thing we do, Felicia, is put those earmuffs on. All right, here I come. When I take this off, every joint that was kept still inside the cast is going to be stiff and sore, so we're not going to do any fast movements. It's usually very sore. They usually don't get up and go skipping down the hallway afterwards, so we're going to treat her very, very gently. Okay. Okay? You got to listen for the pop. Strong like a bull. So let's open it up. Are you ready? Ta-da! And there we go. How's that feel? She says, I don't know, everything's very, very sensitive. We're done. And Felicia, don't take this the wrong way. I hope I never see you again. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, bye guys. Bye. Oh, let me see what it says. It says, Kayla Bebecker. Are you cold? Oh. Ow. Oh. No ouchies. Oh, dang. No ouchies. Do you play video games here? I bet you beat Daddy at those video games, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> she's pretty good at that. Okay, Mommy can't go in with you, buddy. I can't go, I can't go, I can't go. She's been walking on it. Really? Yeah. Hmm. You weren't able to keep her down? No. Oh, it looks like it's all healed up. Oh, that looks good. Hey. Good for you. <laughs> you have any questions, Felicia, my friend? You sure? Yeah. Can I go into gymnastics? You can go into gymnastics, but not until the fall. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Bye bye, Felicia. Four months after surgery, Felicia has fully recovered. By having the malformation of her hip corrected, she can now enjoy normal childhood activities. So the uh, tumor is here. They did deep biopsies all along the edge here, and what they found was it was all non-viable. It was, it was dead, it was all dead tumor. 
So based on that, the plan is now to take all of this out. We always worry about kids, kids dying. Um, I don't like to blow it up too much, but it certainly would have been riskier the first time. Our mom and dad. They're okay. Uh, you know, I think they're a little more optimistic than last time. So all of this comes back negative, she's not gonna get any more chemo. Doctors must now meet the challenge of separating Kayla's tumor from her vital organs. Kayla's diaphragm and pericardium, the sac encasing her heart, will be removed along with the tumor. Despite these risks, the tumor must be removed to ensure Kayla's survival. On the next episode of Life's Little Miracles, Netta has a hole in her heart. And Kayla's struggle with cancer continues.